Hello everybody, uh, welcome to uh, another video update. Thought I'd do one, it's been, a, uh, it's been a while since the last one, and I think it's about time I did another one. Um, we've come to almost like another turning into uh, turning in the path, so to speak. It's almost like a, a new era is dawning upon the channel once again. Um, over the past sort of three weeks I've been very busy with work-related uh, revision. Uh, so I haven't really had much time to do any recording at all. All the videos that I have been uploading over the past three or four weeks have all been saved on my hard drive, which is why there was a lack of The Sims 3 for the past sort of three weeks. Um, but I had plenty of Star Wars, plenty of Skyrim, and Mass Effect 2 I had uh, saved up to keep myself uploading whilst I was revising. Uh, as of Tuesday, I had my exam on Tuesday, so... Uh, no more revision, but uh, these past sort of two or three days, uh, things have been catching up with me. I think the, the, the amount of work I've put in, the amount of effort I've been putting in, um, and uh, have caught up with me, and I feel a bit run down. My voice is going, I've got a blocked nose, I'm coming down with a cold for the th third time in less than two months. Um, it's been a very, uh, very rough couple of months, to be honest with you. But uh, hopefully I'll shake this off, this, this new bout of, uh, of, of, of cold, whatever the hell it is, virus, and hopefully sometime next week I'll be up and ready to, 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 uh, to give it some gusto to prepare for the start of the next LP, which will be the, which will be the Med Two Kingdoms LP. So we started with Mass Effect 3 yesterday. Uh, I'm about five hours into it already, uh, so I've got a, quite a bit of Mass Effect footage already saved up on my computer. Uh, because I'm literally enjoying the game. It's living up to my expectations so far, and so far so good. It's uh, looking uh, rather excitable. It's already playing on the old emotions. I've already been on a roller coaster ride. I've been down there at sadness, and I've been up there at elation. Ex you know, and, and it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a long and arduous ride. I feel, <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to every minute of it. So that's that. Sims 3 is back up and running now. So that will that will keep on. Uh, you know, keep on. Uh, it'll just keep plodding along. It's. Uh, I'm tending to do about um, one sim day per set of updates, which usually is between two and three videos at a time, and it will continue at that sort of pace. Um, for those of you asking, but getting a lot of questions about the, the new LP Sims 3 Showtime, I have no plans to LP that in the near future at all. Um, this LP that I'm doing is probably going to last up until close to the autumn time, maybe even closer to winter time, depending on the pacing of it. Uh, so there's no plans for me to LP any new Sims content for the time being. So that's the answer to that question. What else have we got? Star Wars is coming to an end, as I knock the table and shake the camera. Um, so I'm going to have to finish the Star Wars uploading by the time I start the Kingdoms LP. Now the Kingdoms LP is down to start on April the 13th, uh, which is only uh, four and a half weeks away, so uh, I've got four and a half weeks to finish the rest of Star Wars. Now I've already finished playing Star Wars, so it's just a case of uploading them. And I just checked now, there is... one... seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. There's eight sets of up updates left for Star Wars, which means that I need to upload at least two updates of Star Wars per week to get it finished before Kingdoms. That should not be a problem at all. And when Kingdoms does start, that will be it. It will be Kingdoms, Mass Effect 3, Skyrim, and uh, what's the other one? Sims 3. They will d be the four LPs that will be running for the vast majority of 2012, and I do not picture myself starting any brand new LPs until the winter time. I've got a busy summer ahead of me with the Olympics at work. I might even end up in London at some point. Uh, I've got a couple of holidays booked. May and September, so there's going to be a lot of interruptions to the year, so I really don't envision starting any new LPs. I'm just going to have these four going along at a nice steady pace up until winter <coughs> and see how they go. So that is the plan. With regard to Kingdoms, it was the, um, what was it, what was it called now? The Crusades. The Crusades campaign, which ended up being the winning vote. I think it won by about three or four votes. Considering there was a total of 
over 500 votes cast in total. Um, the fact that King, that the fact that the uh, the winning vote uh, was only by about three or four showed how close it really was and how every vote does really count. So uh, tomorrow, I am planning on getting up the faction vote. We know it's going to be a Crusades campaign, but what faction do you want to see me play as? Tomorrow I will put up the uh, faction vote and we'll get that started to see which faction I'm going to play as in the Kingdoms LP. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, the final thing that I want to say today is uh, a few dedicated members of the forum and viewers and subscribers to my channel have uh, some time ago started up a wiki page a wiki page containing information from LPs so uh, containing information about lead characters about factions from Total War LPs about characters from some of the role plays we've done both on the forums and on YouTube such as the Med 2 RP, the Shogun RP, the Rome Total War RP so there's a whole host of information about all different aspects of my LPs and a few as I say dedicated members have put on there a whole host of information to sort of complement the LPs so if somebody wants to head on over there and have a bit of a look about you know some of the background history to the Medieval 2 campaign for instance about some of the lead characters like Toby the Killer like King Ambrose, like Simon Maitland like Nicholas Horst and some of the more notable characters some people have actually put some uh, some really interesting facts and information about those characters and it makes for very interesting reading so uh, there will be a link to that wiki page in the link in the description of this video and the link to the wiki page will also be on my main channel page just underneath my forum link so if you fancy heading on over there to have a read or even if you fancy heading on over there to become a contributor um, feel free to check it out it would be a shame for a lot of people's hard work to to not be viewed so uh, get over there have a look at it and contribute if you can <sighs> it's now 22 27 p.m. and I'm up at 6 o'clock for work tomorrow so I'm going to get myself some lem sip honey and lemon uh, and I'm going to get myself to bed for an early night so uh, tomorrow I will be uploading Star Wars so uh, hope you enjoy that good night I'll see you soon